everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today I am making a linen fragrance because I'm out of stock on them. And this one is, says compared to the smell of a fabric softener, I'm not sure which one. A fruity floral blend of peach, watermelon, neroli, and jasmine, aquatic notes, and musk. I've made this one before and it's a really, really nice scent. So I've decided to use, I think I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to my main batch and just to make sure these colors are not so bright, but I have Orchid Purple Mica from Nurture Soap. I have Electric Bubblegum from Brambleberry. I have Turquoise Mica from Nurture Soap and Mad Mica's Let Us Entertain You. And I'm just gonna do a little swirl on the inside and then I got some new tips that I wanna try on the top. So I will show you guys that when I get to it.
back to pipe. It's been a long time. And I got these tips. They are like a plastic tip you would use like for grass, to make grass. And I got a pack, and I think it came a pack of 20 for $7 on Amazon. And I was going to try, I saw a cake that was done in kind of a shag rug pattern. So I thought I would just kind of give it a try and do this on with the four colors. They're all in the same, or have the same tip on them. And I'm just going to vary the colors and see what happens. Now I needed this to kind of be really set up in order to show the little frills, I guess. Um, and I don't know if it is or not, but I need to start making dinner. So I actually made a salad while I was waiting. So in order to make it look shaggy, I think you got to pull up, pull up on it. And it's kind of supposed to stand up, but it's really not standing up. I probably should let it go for a little longer, but I just don't have time. So um, this is super easy. If anybody wants to try to piping on the top, it's just basically squeeze and pull up. kind of cool. I don't have a pattern in mind. I'm just doing whatever. And, it, you know, sometimes I save too much piping. And this is a good one because you can just kind of put it on top of, you know, layer it on top and it's not really going to show that you, you know, it's not going to look like it's overdone. the next day to cut clean breeze and that's the inside and the top I think it's very springy like Easter colors it smells this is probably my favorite laundry type scent I love the pastel colors I always seem to use bright colors a lot so it's nice to make something a little bit more pastel. I had 
some better swirls, it seems like, in the end piece. It showed, like, more of the colors and more swirls. Sometimes it happens, I don't know. But this top is so easy to do. Anybody could do it. It's just, um, if you let your batter get a little bit thicker and... It's kind of, it doesn't have to be perfect and it still will look okay. I'm looking for a heart. I always seem to have a heart show up somewhere in the soap. I really like that turquoisey color. This side is pretty. And last one. I really like this one. You can see all the colors. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next video.